You are witnessing a scene which, since the beginning of time, has been repeated in all species of the animal kingdom. That moment when the fledgling tries its wings and flies away from the nest. In all corners of the globe, though the destination of the fledgling may be different, the scene and the motivation is the same, independence. This is Manhattan Island, the destination of many modern American fledglings. No matter what they are seeking, young people seem to feel this is the place they can find it. Statistics have shown... I don't care about statistics. I was born one, I'll die one. But in between, I'm not interested. Lou, you talk as though she's the first girl that ever wanted to go out on her own. I don't care about the first, I just don't want her to be the next. Thousands of girls every year do exactly what Anne's doing. I'm not interested in thousands of girls. I'm only interested in... I'm ready. That girl. <laughs> Why are you wearing that? Well, because I love it. And you bought it for me. Why? What's wrong? Nothing. Except you came to us naked. I thought you'd leave the same way. Now, Daddy, don't start again. I'm not starting again. I never stopped. And I won't stop until the ambulance brings you home, starving for malnutrition, at which point we'll feed you and say, I told you so. Daddy, that's your father's way of saying good luck. I'm going to have it. Look, I've got a great apartment, and my agent said he has a part for me already. Everything's going to be just great. Of course, darling. Don't let her fool you. Behind all those of course, darlings, is a volcano of tears. You're gonna miss your train? What a tragedy that would be. Daddy, you still want to take me to the station? No, but I'm taking you. <laughs> now, Mom, don't worry. New York is only 40 miles away. I'll call you tonight. Of course, darling. Another of course, darling. Now, Daddy was just kidding. There won't be any crying, will there? Oh, no crying, dear. Uh-huh. And if I'm not back in 20 minutes, start without me. Where do you want them? Oh, just add them to the heap. Is there anything else I can do, miss? Well, there are about 4,000 things to do around here. Thought I could do them all myself. Okay. Oh, almost forgot. These are in your mailbox. My mailbox? Somebody sent me something already? Oh, they're addressed to occupant. Well, that's what you are. That's right. That's what I am. I'm my own occupant. Thank you, Mr. Corcoran. You're welcome. And good luck. Thanks. <laughs>
that must be Ralphie. <laughs> Little Billy Nelson lost his mouse last week. Tell him I think I found it. Oh, I will. Oh, listen, I'm Judy Bessemer, your neighbor. Oh, hi. Hi. It's your father. What's my father? I don't know, but he's on the phone. Hello? It is you. Oh, no, everything's fine. I was just running to my door because I'm just so excited being in my new house. <laughs> Why don't you call on my phone? Oh, I don't know the number either. I don't even know where it is. There goes Ralphie. Ah! Down the hall. Go home to Billy, Ralphie. Oh, no, just a couple of kids came by to say hi in the building. Wasn't that sweet? Yeah, I thought it was, too. Is this reach all the way inside? It'll go as far as the window in your bathroom. How do you know that? I was friendly with a couple who lived here before. Are, are you a couple? No, I'm a single. <laughs> I was just talking to my neighbor. Uh-huh. How did you know to call her to get me? Boy, Daddy, you are really something. Now, don't worry. The minute I find my phone, I'll call Mother. Okay. Right. Good. What? He wants to talk to you. <laughs> yeah? Hello? Oh, don't mention it. <laughs> don't worry, I will. Goodbye. You will what? Remind you to call your mother. Let me find my phone. Is Ralphie the only mouse in the building? As far as I know. Say, how did your father know to call me? Oh, he got your name from the apartment building and then he got your number from information. Boy. What a tricky father. Oh, he's just worried. This is the first time living away from home. I know. When I married Leon, my father went to bed for a week. I guess they're all alike. When my sister Harriet wanted to be a model, he practically went into mourning. I want to be an actress. That would have killed my father. Here it is. Call your mother. You too? I feel responsible. <laughs> Say, where do you act? Well, so far, only at auditions. But tomorrow, right after work, I have a very important appointment with my agent about a part. Oh, well, where do you work? Well, I'm a waitress at Grafton's. It's busy. Well, I gotta go now. <phone rings> Hello? Oh, hi. Fine. Okay, I will. Goodbye. That was your father. <laughs> what do you want now? He said... Not to call your mother because she just went out. So don't call your mother. Oh, boy. <laughs> Hello? Oh, hi, Daddy. Fine, fine. Oh, yeah, I worked until 4 o'clock in the morning, and everything's really shaping up great. Mm -hmm. Listen, Daddy, I'll call you right after I see my agent, okay? And I'll tell you all about the part. Oh, no, he sure I'll get it. Okay, bye. I didn't talk to him that much when I lived there. <laughs> Okay, picture this. I'm sitting at my desk. The phone rings. It's a producer, and he says he needs a young actress. <laughs> me? Under five foot six. Me, that's me. I say, I've got just the girl. Me. You. Oh, oh Harvey, you're brilliant. Oh, what is it, a comedy, a, a drama? Not exactly. <clears throat> uh, have you ever heard of the, uh, the Merry Muppeteers? Merry Muppeteers? Yeah, it's on every Saturday morning at 8 o'clock. Oh, it's a children's program? Oh, Harvey, I'd love to do it. I'd love to do a children's show. I'd be perfect. I mean, I mean, I can draw and I make faces. I even do puppets. Would they use the puppets? Of 
course, it's not really acting, but, but I've seen some of those nice ladies, and they're just great. Oh, Harvey, I'd love to do it. Well, you wouldn't exactly be the nice lady. Uh, <laughs> Auntie Gracie's the, the regular nice lady. Oh. oh, oh, I would be your assistant? In a way, yes. You see, Ann, she does this, this real cute thing uh, with a mop. Oh, I, uh, I push around the mop? No, uh, you'd be the mop. I play the mop? The guest mop, until you prove yourself. But you could get to be the regular mop. Harvey, that's crazy. No, no, Ann. You see, you wear this, this mop head costume, and you're on, like, little rollers. And they push me around and clean up the floor with my head? It's cute, Ann, real cute. Harvey. I signed with this agency to be an actress, not a household appliance. Oh, that's funny, Ann. That, that's funny. <laughs> it's not funny, Harvey. I thought I had a real part. Pays $50. 50 I know. Boy, I could really use it. Let's take it. Okay, Harvey. But you better come up with something better next time. Oh, sure, sure. I hardly wait to see the look on my father's face when I tell him my big acting job was being a mop. <laughs> Hello? Oh, hi, Harvey. Yeah, I went over for the fitting this morning. Boy, is that a dumb costume. But I don't care. That $50 is gonna help pay the rent on my own apartment. Oh, no, no, the really lucky thing is they tape Thursday morning. Yeah, so I'll be able to get off from the restaurant. No. Actually, I think it's going to be kind of fun. If I live through it. <laughs> oh, Harvey, can I call you back? There's somebody at the door. Okay, bye. Who is it? Mother, hi. Hello, dear. What are you doing here? Oh, did you bring me something? Me? You? I come to live with you. <laughs> Anne, you've just done a wonderful job here. Mother, you can't say you're gonna live with me and then casually go about admiring my apartment. What's going on? Why should you get involved? I am standing in my apartment with a mother in a suitcase. I would say that's pretty involved. It'll all be settled as soon as your father apologizes. For what? I don't want to talk about it. Now, just go on about your business like I'm not here. Where are you going? If I lie down, maybe the throbbing will go away. Mother! <laughs> oh, miss, we've been waiting a long time. Oh, I'm really sorry. Janet, would you do me a favor? I forgot the kabanza beans for this table. Oh, right, Anne. Thanks. Hello? Daddy? No, the Lone Ranger. Daddy, I've been trying to call you since last night. Are you all right? I'm fine. Is she all right? Yes, yes, she's fine. What happened? Didn't she tell you? Well, she says she doesn't want to talk about it. What happened? I don't want to talk about it. Well, I do. <laughs> Daddy, last night, your wife, my mother, slept in my apartment in my bed. Why was she there? Maybe she was tired. <laughs> Daddy, that isn't funny. Look, don't worry about us. Worry about yourself. Well, I'm worried about me, too. This morning for breakfast, I had cereal, eggs, toast, and coffee. Well, what's wrong with that? The cereal, eggs, and toast. All I wanted was coffee. I didn't know mother about food. Your mother is right. Well, if she's so right, then why did you fight? With me, she's not as right as with you. Well, at the moment, she's with me, and I don't think that's right. Does she interfere with your mop rehearsal? Daddy, you can just make fun of that if you want, but it's going to bring in an extra $50 this week. Good. Because now you have an extra mouth to feed. Hi, Mom. Hello, Anne. How was your day? Fine, fine. What did you do today? Oh, I read and looked out the window, straightened up a little. Uh huh. Yeah, looks terrific. Oh, Mother, those drapes belong in the bedroom. I tried them in there, but they really look better here, don't you think? Uh, yeah, I guess they, they really do. I like the couch here. Well, nice. What was wrong with where it was? Well, this way you can look out the window. Oh, never thought of that. Real nice. Listen, Mom, 
Did you and Daddy talk today? There's nothing to talk about. Oh. Oh, by the way, uh, Harvey Peck called and said that he had gotten the tickets for tonight. Oh, great! Up the ladder sideways. I've been dying to see that. A play? How nice. <laughs> oh, listen, I can go another night. Oh, Anne, darling, please understand. As long as I'm here, I want you to do all the things that you normally do when you're alone. Mother, I, I don't know what they are. I haven't had the chance to be alone. I know, and that's a pity, but just act as if I'm not here. Well, see, Mother, that's the whole thing. Why is it that you are here? You know, I'm getting a headache. I now, Mother, I... no, you don't. I have seen you do that a thousand times with Daddy. Every time you don't want to discuss something, boom, instant headache. That's not fair. I was on your side. My side? My side of what? The argument. The argument was about me? Well... Mother? Daddy decided I should come down here and spy on you. Oh. So you didn't have a fight. You mean you moved in with me because he wanted you to? No, we had a fight because I refused to move in with you. But you moved in with me. Well, not because he wanted it. Because I wasn't talking to him. <laughs> Mother. You moved in with me because you had a fight with Daddy about him wanting you to move in with me? Yeah. That is the craziest thing I've ever heard. Mother, I want you to get your things and go back to Daddy. Then you think he's right? Yes. Well, no. I mean, I mean, he's wrong. But so are you. Oh, Mother, I don't know what I think. But in an argument, both people can't be wrong. Well, this one just may break the precedent. Oh, Anne, don't you understand? No, Mom. I don't understand. But I'm going to try. I really am. I'm going to take a shower, and as the cool waters envelop and soothe my body, I am really going to try and understand. Good, I'll fix dinner. What would you like? Anything, Mother, just anything. Mother! Where's my bed? <laughs> RV! Is that you? Hey, you look cute, cute. Push my mom aside so I can talk to you. Oh, sure. I came down to wish you luck. Thanks. Could you scratch my nose? Oh, sure. Hey, I never did this for a client before. Uh, not so hard. Hey, is that makeup or is that bloodshot eye real? Real. I slept on the floor last night. What? My bed didn't get back from the plumber. Springs leaking? No. The pipes in the frame were loose, so my mother sent it out to be welded. <laughs> Hey, you know, your old lady sounds like a wacko. She is not. How long is she going to be around, anyway? I don't think too much longer. Last night, I found out what the fight's all about. Oh, yeah? What was it? If I told you, you'd think my mother was a wacko. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to talk to my father later, and we're going to straighten this whole thing out. Today is Independence Day. <laughs> Harvey, my mops. You got a lot of guts, kid. Sure, sure. Did you have this much trouble when you left home? Nah, not a bit. Yeah, with boys, it's different. Especially when they throw you out. You Anne Marie? You ready for me? No, your mother called. She must have heard us talking. Did she leave a message? Yeah, maybe you'll understand it. She was out shopping, and she found a safe bed. I understand it. Well, she said she'd tell you later, and she'll meet you at the restaurant after work. <gasps> Harvey? What's the matter? My father's gonna be there, too. Well, you said today was Independence Day. Now you're going to have a little fireworks. <laughs> Ready for the mop. Do you know your lines? Yeah, I think so. Can I make it to the door? Uh, duck under, hon. Duck. Okay. Bye, Harvey. Good luck, honey. Today we've had a lot of fun. There isn't any more. So take a hold of Molly Mop and let's clean up the floor. Yeah. <laughs> Help! Leave me alone! Could have been a big star. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Have you decided? They'll have the number three and I'll have the number five without the cheese. The number five without the cheese is number three. Oh. Well, uh, why don't you order three number threes and save yourself a quarter? Well, fine, thanks. Don't make a marvelous idea. Then we'll need that extra quarter as a tip. Mm. 
There you are. I'll just get your coffee in a moment. Coffee, please. That's not my table. But I am your father. Excuse me. Daddy, you're early. I wanted to see how my daughter looked in her working clothes. May I have some coffee? Well, well Daddy, there's just something I have to uh, tell miss? you. Miss? Oh, one minute. Yes, sir. Our coffee? Yes, sir. Coffee right away. Right away, sir. Daddy, there's something I've got to tell you. Your customers come first. Okay, but don't go away. I just got here. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? I have a date with my daughter. So do I. There you are, Daddy. Mom! Why is she here? Why is he here? Well, you see what happened is... Miss, may we have our coffee, please? One second. There you are, sir. Would you give me a hand here? Thank you. There you are. Good, I think you've got everything. Fine. You see, what happened is I didn't know you were both coming. You invited me. Right, I knew you were going to be here. Then why did you let me come? Well, you were just a message. You can't say no to a message. Well, actually, I'm glad you're both here. Listen, I've got some orders in the kitchen. I'll be right back. Don't go away. Could I have some coffee, please? That's not her table. Well, actually, Mom's table is my table. Naturally. It really is, Daddy. You can ask the manager. Bring her the coffee. Wait a minute. What happened to your elbow? Oh. Well, one of the kids in that mop thing got a little rough. Oh. See? That's not important. What is important is this crazy fight you had. It was not crazy. It's only the craziest thing I've ever heard. Watch how you talk to your mother. Well, wasn't it crazy? Yes, but watch how you talk to your mother. Miss, where are our sandwiches? Will you just hold everything? I'm terribly sorry. I'll get them right away. Janet, Janet, would you do me a favor? Would you please bring three number threes to this table? Yeah, sure. All right, she'll bring them right away. Thanks a lot. Look. Whether it was crazy or not is unimportant. We had weeks of discussion before I left home, and we decided that I could take care of myself. As a mop? Will you forget the mop? How can I? It isn't easy to send a girl to college for four years and have her end up as a mop. Daddy, will you try and understand something? Today I may be a mop, tomorrow a garbage pail. But eventually, who knows, I may even get to play people. So you're not supposed to worry about you? Of course you are. But not as much as you do. I know you and Mom spent a lot of time and energy bringing me up, but now I'm up. Miss! They put cheese on my number three. Well, then you've got your number five after all. <laughs> okay, so you're up. I know it's hard to accept the fact that your child's not a child anymore. We don't think of you as a child. You vote and everything. Of course you think of me as a child. You always will, and I love it. It's just that I don't want you to treat me like one. Okay? Okay. Where are you going? We're both going to your apartment. My apartment? To get your mother's things. Well, wait a minute. What's the matter? I forgot your check. Can't a grown-up lady like yourself buy your poor old parents a cup of coffee? <laughs> to get up in the middle of the night to watch a bunch of kids play Ring Around the Rosie. I come on right after this game. We all get lollipops when it's over? Here, here I come. That's you? Shh, shh. Today we've had a lot of fun. There isn't any more. So take a hold of Molly Mop and let's clean up the floor. <laughs> Help! Leave me alone! Well, I was pretty good, huh? Oh, you did very well. I don't know. Oh, Daddy, you can't be sad about that silly little part. Who's sad about the part? I'm sad because you missed a dirty spot on the floor. <laughs> <laughs>